Hello, all creative filmmakers, in this video, I'm going to, show you, how to download, free film matte FX, and how to use it, in your project, on Premiere Pro, don't worry, film matte FX, is very easy, to use in your project, just drag and drop. And, we have to do, a quick little mask. This video is, inspired by, Cinepax, they have, a lot of free assets. But, you have to buy, to use the full version, you can download, and use, their free assets, in your next project. Today, I will discuss, this free film Mad FX. For downloading, click on, add to cart. Then, proceed to checkout. Here, you have to give, your email address, your name, and your living address. Mind it, no need for any credit cards, just click on, continue to payment. Then click on, complete order. Your order is confirmed. You can just, download the film Matt FX file, from here. After that, we have to open, Premiere Pro. Now, we are inside, Premiere Pro. Here, I already import, the film Matt FX file, that I have, downloaded. See here, the first one is, a 35mm film border. It has total of, 3 screens, middle one is big, and, 2 screens are, smaller than, middle one as you can see. Second file is a, 4 split screen, PNG file, it has total, 4 split screens, as you can see. The third file is, animated film, split screen, it has a total of 2 screens, as you can see. Fourth file is, animated film transition, it is one kind of, transition, this changes, your video quality. The fifth, and sixth files, are the same. That is, vintage E6, slide frames, and, I already import, 5 video clips, these help me, to create, film matte FX qualities. First, we will work, with this file number 1, I will just drag, and drop the file, on video layer 4, in the timeline. Then, drag the video footage number 1, and drop it, in video layer 1, below the film border file, in the timeline. Then, copy the video footage number 1, and drop it, in video layers 2, and 3, because, our film file has, total 3 screens, this requires, 3 footage, for 3 screens, here, I will use, a video, on all 3 screens, you can use, 3 different videos, if you want. Now, select video layer 3, and, move over, to the effects control panel, then, reduce the scale size, from 100%, to 73, now, lock video layers 1, and 2, so, it will be convenient, to set the footage, with the screen. Now, mask the part, of the video footage, that we will put, on the screen. That's why, select the pen tool, from opacity. I will put, this part, on the screen. So, this is a, little mask. Our masking is complete. See here, our video footage is, very nicely set, with the screen. Now, I will set the video, of video layer 2, on the screen, on the left side. First, unlock video layer 2, then, select the video footage, of video layer 2, then, move over, to the effects control panel. Reduce the scale size, from 100%, to 73. Now, set the position, of the footage. Since, I will place the video, on the screen, on the left side, I will bring, the position, of the video, to the left side. I want to put, this part, of the video, on the screen, on the left. That's why, no need to mask, this footage anymore. Now, I will set, the video footage, of video layer 1, on the screen, on the right side. Now, unlock video layer 1, and then, select the video. Move over, to the effects control panel. Now, I will set the position, of the footage, since, I will place the video, on the screen, on the right side. I will bring the position, of the video, to the right side. I wanted to put, this part of the video, on the screen, on the right. Then, reduce the scale size, from 100%, to 73. That's why, no need to mask, this footage anymore. If your video length is large, then select the film border file, hold the alt key, then drag and drop it, on the video. Our work is, so far complete. Let's see, how our video looks. Now, we will work, with this file number 2. Drag and drop the file, on video layer 5, in the timeline. Look here, there are 4, screens in total. 
I will use, a total of 4 video footage, on these 4 screens. Because, we have to put, 4 more footages, below. Then, drag the video footage number, 1, 2, 3, 4, and drop them, in the video layers, 1, 2, 3, and 4, below the split screen file, in the timeline. This time, we will lock, 1, 2, and 3, video layers. Now, select the video footage, of layer 4, and, move over, to the effects control panel. Reduce the scale size, from 100%, to 67. Now, set the position, of the footage. Then, it will be convenient, to set the footage, with the screen. Since, I will place the video, on the screen, on the right side, I will bring, the position, of the video, to the right side. I want to put, this part, of the video, on the screen, on the right. No need to mask, this footage anymore. See here, the video footage, is nicely set, with the screen. First, unlock video layer 3, then, select the video footage, of video layer 3. Then, move over, to the effects control panel. Now, set the scale size, and position, of the footage, according to the screen. I will put this footage, in the middle screen. No need to mask, this footage anymore. I want to put this part, of the video, on the screen. See here, the video footage, is nicely set, with the screen. Now, unlock video layer 3, then, select the video footage, of video layer 3. Then, move over, to the effects control panel. Now, set the scale size, and position, of the footage, according to the screen. I will put this footage, in the middle screen. No need to mask, this footage anymore. I want to put this part, of the video, on the screen. Now, we are done. Now, unlock video layer 1. And then, select the video. Move over, to the effects control panel. I will put this footage, on the small screen, above. Now, set the scale size, and position, of the footage, according to the screen. No need to mask, this footage anymore. I want to put this part, of the video, on the screen. Now, we are done. If your video length is large, then select the film border file, hold the alt key, then drag and drop it, on the video. Our work is, so far complete. Let's preview the video. In this way, you can use, all the film matte FX, nicely. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did, like the video, and leave a comment.